I try on new clothes fairly often, and I generally like what I try on because I picked them out. However, it's uh, pretty rare for me to find something that I like so much that I have to tell myself not to put it on every day. I recently had a find like that, though. I'm Patrick, this is Rocky Mountain Style, and today I'm going to talk about the Maker's Stretch Work Pant and the Maker's Stretch Chore Jacket from Wellen, which is one of Huckberry's in-house brands. If this is your first time watching Rocky Mountain Style, thanks for being here. I do unboxings, reviews, and comparisons on boots, shoes, jackets, jeans, watches, leather goods, and all sorts of other cool things like that. And if you like the same aesthetics that I do, I think this might be a good channel for you. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And now on to the video. Wellen is a brand that was started in California as a lifestyle clothing brand with Coastal Surfer Styling. It was acquired by Huckberry in 2018. Huckberry's co-founder, Richard Greiner, said, we've always felt well and shared our vision for making adventure approachable, so we're excited to bring the company under our wing. Pretty cool. Uh, the two items we're looking at today, the Maker's Stretch Work Pant and the Maker's Stretch Chore Jacket, are not my first experience with Wellen. I did purchase a Wellen sweater with a really neat funfetti pattern back at the beginning of winter, and I have enjoyed that piece. Before we go any further, though, I do want to say that Huckberry sent these two pieces to me for my review. Uh, the only stipulation, of course, was that I give my honest and unfiltered opinion, which is exactly what I plan on doing here today. An affiliate link to both of these pieces will be in the description below. If you enjoy them or you want to check them out, go ahead and click on one of those links. I'd really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything, and it certainly helps support the channel. Okay, let's start with the jacket. It's a pretty typical chore jacket, work jacket variant that has a lot of thoughtfully placed pockets both on the inside and the outside of the jacket. This includes a slot for a pen on the front button pocket and an interior pocket on the right side that has visible stitching, which gives better symmetry to the front of the jacket. So I think that's a nice touch. It does have some stretch built in, uh, made in Indonesia of 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So that 2% spandex, of course, is where the stretch is coming from. I really like a lot of the design choices they made on this jacket, and some of those do carry over to the pants as well. Having no zipper is perfect for a springy light jacket like this, and the buttons also have a really cool wave pattern on them, which is kind of neat. There's also green accent stitching all over the jacket, which gives a really deliberate, put-together look in my opinion. I really like that touch. I got this jacket in a medium, which is pretty perfect on my 5 foot 8.5 inch 185 pound frame. Uh, the jacket, because of the stretch, I do have a full range of motion when I'm moving around, and it's very comfortable when worn. I got the natural colored variant instead of the green variant, which is probably, in my opinion, a little bit better overall. But I already have a lot of green jackets, so I wanted to give the, the more white one a try and see if I could pull it off. Uh, turns out I can. It's a lot more versatile than I thought it was, and you know, I think there's probably a good chance that uh, if you're thinking the same thing as I am right now about maybe not being able to pull it off, you probably can too, I would say. At $198, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but if you are looking for a jacket with this sort of aesthetic, I definitely think it's worth your consideration just based on how nice it feels alone. It really does feel really good. If you want some more info and another take on this jacket, someone named David Gravett wrote an article for Huckberry. Uh, it's, I guess, referred to as a style challenge, where he tries to style the jacket three different ways, morning, afternoon, and evening. Uh, on a work day. So that's kind of an interesting read, and I will leave the description to that down in the comments, uh, or I guess down in the description below, I'll leave the link. Okay, next on to the pants. So Wellen calls these work pants. When I was in high school, I called them carpenter pants, and maybe people still call them that in certain circles, but I think work pant probably fits a little bit better. I think this is a really nice, versatile style that works pretty well because it's a little bit less dressy than a chino but maybe a little more dressy than a blue jean. So if you don't want to wear a blue jean, you don't want to feel like you're dressed up at all, then, then maybe something like this that looks like a, looks like a canvas uh, in this work pants style may be the right thing to look for. Like the jacket, there's plenty of thoughtfully placed pockets throughout the pant, uh, giving you plenty of places to stash whatever EDC you might have on you. Uh, there's also the green stitching on the pants, just like on the jacket, and also made in Indonesia, 98% recycled cotton and 2% spandex for that stretch. And while I do really like the stretch in the jacket, it's the stretch in these pants that really takes the cake, in my opinion. 
generally speaking, I'm not a fan of stretchy pants because most of the time they end up looking like stretchy pants and I don't want to, you know, be the person, Hey, look at me, I'm wearing stretchy pants, but these, the way they're woven and just the way they look, uh, they give off more of a, a workwear canvas vibe to me. They don't really look like stretchy pants. So you can have the comfort, you can have the fit, and then also have the cool aesthetic you're looking for. So it's like, you know, having, having your cake and eating it too, I guess, which is pretty sweet. I have these in a size 33. The waistband has elastic and a drawstring. So again, best of both worlds. The inseam at 31 and a half inches is a little bit long for me at my height. Uh, generally speaking, I would get something like this hemmed. However, I think the cuffed or rolled look on the bottom is actually pretty cool, so I won't plan on having these at all. I like to wear them just like they are with either you know, loafers or boots or you know gym shoes, whatever. I'm really the versatile. They, they go with pretty much anything. The only hardware on these pants, uh, other than the zipper, is a single button that is at the top of the fly. And again, it has the wave pattern just like the jacket. Uh, instead of rivets, Wellen has gone for a circular stitched pattern in the places where rivets would traditionally be. Uh, one, it looks really cool. And two, just glancing at it, I bet it actually will hold up a lot better. Uh, I've popped quite a few rivets off jeans in my day, more than I would care to count. Uh, and it always frustrates me every time. Generally, you're still stitching there, so the jean hasn't failed, but I just don't like the look of a, a popped off rivet. So these stitches, if they hold up, I think is actually quite a better strategy. And I'm surprised more pant makers don't do this. With zero hyperbole, I can say that these pants, without a doubt, are my favorite pants I own right now. I really like jeans. I really like the 365 uh, Flint Tinder, I guess the Flint Tinder 365 pants. But, uh, but these really take the cake for me. The only downside of these pants, in my opinion, is the fact that they're only offered in these two colors, this Tobala green and then the natural color. And as much as I would like to give the natural color a try in the pants, I just, I just don't feel like a white pant guy. Uh, I don't, don't quite have the confidence yet for that. But if they offered these in a gray or a navy or a light brown or something like that, this would probably be the quickest add to cart that I've ever had in my life. Uh, again, at $198, just like the... Uh, jacket, a little on the pricey side, but if you're looking for something that feels like it's got high quality, feels like it's going to last, gives you a certain aesthetic also with the stretch and the comfort uh, with some unique styling and some cool cues, uh, it's a pretty unique item. And so really you could probably do a lot worse for, for the price. Well, that's it for today, guys. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please leave a, a comment below and I'll get to that. I do answer every question, reply to every comment. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.